So now we are live. Welcome all to a new initiative that uh, we are introducing with the mentoring team. And uh, we're introducing a new initiative about success stories to inspire other translators. And of course, uh, with, the aid, with the help of other translators. And we have today Alicia Gonzalez. How are you, Alicia? <laughs> Hi, hello. Hi. Thank you for accepting my invitation, being here with me live. Some short story for those that they do not know us already. Um, Alicia Gonzalez and I, we met in a mentoring program of mine. I think the ultimate LinkedIn prospecting system was that. Yeah. Um, and it was a great round. I think we were 13 participants in that round and uh, we had so much fun. And uh, I, we just uh, had a discussion and I'm really surprised I've been following you on LinkedIn. I see what you've been doing and I thought why not to share with other people that they might feel like a bit frustrated or not that motivated nowadays to get inspired through your story and actually your progress, because I'm really happy to see people that are progressing. And I don't want to disclose everything, but you mentioned like hiring a VA, being fully booked already, doing content marketing. So you're going to tell us everything. But before going into that, uh, would you like to introduce yourself to those that they do not know you already? Okay, yes. Well, I'm Alicia Gonzalez. I'm from Spain. I'm a translator and uh, my main field is localization and marketing. And I've been for 20 years in the translation industry, and I started my freelance translation business, uh, Preta Translate, five years ago. Actually, on July, it's my fifth anniversary as a, as a freelancer. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, and well, I live in Torremolinos, in Malaga, although I am from Barcelona. And, and I've, I've, sometimes you feel that you know very well your industry, but there are things that you don't know until you are on working on them. And that's something that I've been able to, to learn with Virginia and to put in practice. Okay, you need to tell us more about what you learn and you put into practice, but let's go to your success stories. So if you yeah. want to find out more about Alicia, you will find the link uh, in the description box of this live. So wherever you're watching us on YouTube, LinkedIn or Facebook, go and check um, the website of Alicia to find out more about uh, her expertise, background, and her company. And let's start inspiring people because I really want to keep it short and to the point what we're going to do so as not to overwhelm people. Like you already mentioned three or four, like out of your head uh, mm -hmm. without any preparation, success stories or wins. And I, as I keep mentioning, no win is a small win. For me, the, the fact that we see progress in our business or in ourselves, um, Development for me, it's really, really important. And this is what I'm trying to do through the, those series. Um, so it's up to you. You can share whatever you want. I know already some stories, but I, I would love to share it publicly. So the stage is yours. Uh, let's start with some success stories that you have already. OK, so uh, some success stories for me are, are that um, I've been able to, to get more visibility, not only within the translation industry, but also outside the translation industry, which is, I think, for most of us is, is our, uh, our main goal, because we, we need to diversify. And of course, we work with agencies, we work with other translators, but we also want to work with direct clients. And, and I think I'm being success, successful on it. Of course, it takes time. You have to be patient. But you have to believe in what you are doing. And I, even if sometimes you feel that maybe no, nobody is watching what I'm doing, it's not true. People are watching it, but sometimes they don't know what to say. Or, But and they are there. And, and I've been able to, to increase yeah. my visibility. Also, I gained interest in contacts that may or may not become clients. Some of them did, be, did become clients. Some of them may not, but at least you get a new contact that it, it, it enriches you, it, it's helpful for you because it's not all about business. It's about learning from people. And you can learn things from a person who is doing marketing for manufacturing companies. And apparently you don't have anything to do with a manufacturing company, but the way uh, he's approaching marketing for those companies can help you as well. So. When you meet a person, you need to, to, to see that you can learn from them. Forget about selling, forget about mm, looking for projects. 
just uh, reach people, connect with people, and, and learn from them. And I think that's very important. And, yeah, for and those that do not know already, the program is about prospecting on LinkedIn, the program yeah. that Alicia participated. This is why Alicia she got into uh, connecting with people online. So Alicia was a member of the Ultimate LinkedIn Prospecting System, which is a three-month group coaching program where actually we learn how to get over our limiting beliefs, confidence issues, we might have lack of confidence, and get into right away implementation of the things that we did and get into contact during the program with potential clients. Hmm. Uh, what you already mentioned is actually the fact that you've been uh, on the spot, like, like you create content online, uh, you're focusing right now, you told me on LinkedIn and on Instagram, but I've been following you on LinkedIn, to be honest, mm -hmm. and I see what you've been doing there. And uh, it's really surprising for me in, in a very good way, because you, some posts of yours, actually, they're getting viral. And um, what you were trying to, to say is actually you've been working with agencies mostly, if I remember correct. Yeah. So if your issue, you would like to get into direct clients. So the fact that you just mentioned to get over your limiting beliefs and actually get in contact with people that they're not in the language industry, I think it's the main issue I get also from other people that they are contacting me. So uh, this is what you described from your own aspect right now. So you've been contacting people uh, directly. You learn from other people as well. Uh, you create content at the same time. And uh, you actually, you mentioned you have also have had a success story getting a company through your content or your optimization of your LinkedIn profile, mm -hmm. most probably through keywords, if you would like to share that as well. Yeah. Uh, as I said, I've been working a lot with uh, content marketing and... I think it was two weeks ago, I got a message from a company, from a project manager from a company, a direct client, saying that they were looking for translators and they wanted to send me a test translation. So I, of course, I accepted. And now I'm waiting for the results. But again, it, of course, I want to pass the test and I want to work with that company. But if, if that doesn't happen, it's okay. The thing is that, I got the contact, I, I be, and that means that they found me somewhere in, in some in some way or another. So when you do content marketing, it's a slow process, but it, you have to be comfortable with what we're doing. Now I think uh, LinkedIn has become more personal. It's not mm -hmm. Facebook, and I hope it won't be Facebook. <laughs> me too. But, but it, 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 I think it's finding the right balance between professional and personal posts and i think that helps so as well because after yeah. all you work with people and yeah. people need to know you and need to see how you are so exactly. i think that's what is helping me because i used to work on other companies and i had that squared mind that you have to do this and you can't yeah. do that because you're a professional and things like yeah. that and now i i'm not saying that i don't care but I'm, not, I'm now more easygoing if I want to say. I remember, I remember, I remember, <laughs> I remember when we were starting actually prospecting and directly contacting clients through yeah, the yeah. process that we did. So that you told me, I'm not interested in actually what they are doing. I just wanted to sell. And now I see all no, the progress. Not. You've changed mindset. This is why the mindset, I keep saying it's so, so important to actually see the results that you want. You've changed 100%. Like now you're saying you just need to get into touch with those people to learn from those people. You always something have, has, uh, you have something to learn from other people. You, yeah. You're not on LinkedIn just to sell and get clients. They will no. come at the end. And you saw, you just told us from a big company that they just contacted you without doing anything. And by anything, I mean actively. You just post on LinkedIn. You have your content marketing. You have your optimized profile. I remember through our program as well. But things will come to you without any much effort at some point because yeah. you have everything into process going on. So do you remember anything else you would like to say that this program actually, the three-month coaching program, helped you to boost your uh, visibility or uh, whatever it is that you've been achieving nowadays? Yeah, it, it helped me also, of course, to understand much better how LinkedIn works. Mm -hmm. And, and it also helped me uh, meet other people because we are mostly freelancers working from home, working alone. But even if you mostly work on your own projects only for your language, sooner or later, you need to help your clients with other languages. Mm -hmm. And 
when I uh, entered your program, I had the opportunity to meet other translators and we have been able to collaborate. So that's also good. And it's also good to learn from them. Even if they work on different field, on a different language, they have the same, um, the same problems as you have because they are entrepreneurs as you. And also you learn a lot from them and how they see the same problem. And, and, and we learned that uh, the same problem can have different solutions. And then you just yeah. have to take the one that suits you best because exactly. of your personality or because of your resources or whatever. So it, it really helped. Thank you for mentioning that because I keep saying, but it's not the same, okay? You are more trustworthy because you experience that from the other side. So actually yeah. for me, it's really, really important. This is why I'm focusing on group coaching because it's really important, the interaction that you have, the networking that you have, the knowledge that you learn from other people, aspects, okay, or processes or what they, they are solving a problem that you have the same. And actually the collaboration, because I was really surprised that you actually told me that you had also uh, two collaborations paid uh, with two members, actually one in Italy, one in Spain, is that correct? So most probably it was based on your specialization, the one collaboration and based on the, the different language combination mm -hmm. of the other? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one, is, one was for a uh, project for me and the other one was a project for her. <laughs> amazing, amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Either way around, for me, it's a great yeah. win. Either you find suppliers or you supply, okay, other colleagues. For me, it's a great opportunity. And actually, the fact that they, it is an international program, I think in our round, we had people from Colombia, from Norway, from Austria. So it's, it's an international program. And uh, it results that somehow people, they trust each other. I think in the program, you trusted each other. Uh, you learned, okay, uh, how you work. And you had three months to get to know each other. So I think for me, it's a great result to actually collaborate when the opportunity comes, of course, and arises. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that as well. Is there anything else that we missed that you would like to share as success stories? Um, uh, well, I, I, I can also say that... Um, that I, I we discussed about uh, working with uh, a VA and when ah, yeah, when yeah, yeah. when it's the, re the the perfect moment to do it and and of course it depends on on your strategy on on your budget as well of course but I that was something I was thinking about for a long time and, and now I think I had the, the opportunity. Uh, it came with a, a person I knew for, because we worked together on, on for a client, and and I asked him, well, "Would you like to help me?" And and I think it's going to it's proving to be very successful. First, because it takes a lot of uh, it helps me a lot because you don't have time for everything. You have to translate. You have to look for clients. You have to do invoicing. You have to create content. So. It's like having another person with you and th this feeling of having a team, it's perfect. It's wonderful because it motivates you to do more things. And yeah, of course, yeah. he's being helpful. I mean, if, if, he, if, he, if what he did wasn't being helpful, I wouldn't say anything, of course. Oh. But, <laughs> but he, he's being very helpful and, and he's learning from me because he works with translation, but he's not from the translation industry. He's learning from me, but I'm learning from him as well. So I, I think that that's very good. And that's an idea you gave us during the, the, the program. And I, I finally put it in, into practice and I'm very happy. And I hope we can continue this collaboration for a long time because it's helping me a lot. Amazing. Thank you for saying that because for those that do not know it, I have a module in my three-month program where I teach you growth strategies. One of the growth strategies when you are ready to grow is actually delegating and automating. So automation process and delegation is one of my modules. And then I show you how I've been doing that by hiring a VA myself and show you my automation tools. And I think that you've took the most out of it. So you actually bought the sales navigator version, if you would like to mention as a tip later yeah. on. And uh, you hired a VA 
this is a fact that you're growing as a business when you create a team, when you have people working for you, because as a fact, as you mentioned, you cannot do everything on your own. It's a time to grow at some point. And I think this is the advanced level module. It's the, the, the latest module in uh, the three month program for those that they actually want to take, because not, it's not for all of the people that they uh, come into my program. So I'm really happy that you actually trusted my process and you found, <laughs> because it's really important to find a trustworthy also VA, found someone that you can go well with and they understand what you want to do. And you told me that you have delegated your Instagram page or things like yeah. content marketing, parts of that. Uh, yeah. So if anyone is... Uh, um, Thinking about how to do that is your chance to ask us anything, actually, uh, about how to grow by automating and uh, by automating this process and hiring uh, a team. So thank you. This is a real success for me, Alicia. I'm really happy for you. For those that you missed the live, you can watch the recording. Alicia mentioned some great success stories, how she actually collaborated with colleagues that uh, she trusted and found through the mentoring program that she participated. She actually mentioned how she overcame her limiting beliefs. And she actually uh, went in front of the scenes on LinkedIn and she's very active right now. She's sharing content the whole time. And actually that pays off because uh, Alicia just explained how she got an inbound lead and client two weeks ago and all this alicia like it, it, in the last six months is, is that correct it was mm -hmm. like uh, your graduation in january if i remember december so in six yeah. months in less than six months you've been doing such a great progress and of course the automation tools the sales navigator and the va for me it's a great sign of growth and uh, i really saw it and teach it in my programs and thank you for sharing that so the last part is some tips if you would like something you've learned on your own or uh, uh, as a practice on LinkedIn or whatever that could help someone and you would like to mention it, uh, this is your yeah. chance. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll, I'll try to, to be straight to the point. First of all, uh, be patient. Cool be advice. patient. <laughs> it won't happen from the night to day. I mean, it, and, and be consistent. Because otherwise, I mean, we are lots of people on LinkedIn. So once you stop, you lose a lot of visibility. So you need to try to find a way to do something. It's not like saying oh, those people who say, good morning, and next day, good morning, and the next day, good morning. No, it's not, that's no. not the issue. So, but try to find a... Uh, uh, um, a story, uh, a, a, a workflow, uh, a, a, a continuity on, on what you are doing, mm -hmm. and 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 also, and as I said, be comfortable because if you don't feel comfortable with what you are writing, even if it's in in written text, they will notice it. People will mm -hmm. notice it, and will notice that you are just posting because for the sake of posting. And and that's not the the thing you have to do. Yeah, and really for, I'm, yeah, only, I'm uh, so sorry to interrupt. It's really interesting because last Friday with Olga, we were talking about content marketing and how to engage with content marketing. And actually, Olga mentioned the thing that you just mentioned that you do not need to post for the sake of posting or for the sake people they, they understand that. So you need to provide value. You need to be consistent with your marketing, but actually at the same time provide value because people they see it. And another thing that you mentioned through your words, and I've been teaching that, is that the silent people will buy from you. The people who join my programs, for example, are not my cheerleaders. Are never liking my post or being like cheerleaders to whatever I do online. But they buy my program. They, they work with me for three months and now have my annual alumni, where we work for one year on the content marketing every three months with automation, scheduling tools, and things like that. So... Silent people buy. So thank you for sharing that because it's a very good advice. You shouldn't be uh, disencouraged because you don't see many likes or you don't no. see a lot of visibility to your post. You need to be consistent and patient. As you, and you're not patient. I remember you were not at least patient. So it's something also you've learned, Alicia, a lot. You were so ambitious to see results in the program. So sometimes you were disencouraged. And I told you, give it some time. 
Be yes. persistent, consistent, find the way that works for you because you told me I prefer to do it manually rather than automatically or I prefer to do it whenever I have some spare time. It's up to you whenever you do it. Yeah. Do it. So sorry for the interruption. Um, yeah. Please complete what you were saying. But I was going to say that uh, I'm, I'm paying the LinkedIn uh, premium subscription. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, and so, yeah. some people may think uh, well, it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. If you don't do anything, well, I, I, I must say, I, I would prefer it was a bit cheaper. That's true, but Maybe in the even if you, even if you don't use it much, it helps you for very specific things. For example, if I am interested on a company, it gives mm -hmm. you a lot of information on that company, mm -hmm. and and then you may say, well, then that's a company I'm going to follow or I'm going to contact or you you end up saying no that's not the company i was interested in it interesting in big so it gives you a lot of information it helps you contact people of course don't spam them but it helps you when you have a very specific thing to say to a very specific person mm -hmm. the email messages help network. you a lot that is not in your network to explain yeah. So when you're doing prospecting, you found an idea client, you want to contact them, but the note message, it's very limited, the characters that you use. This is what Alice is explaining yeah. right now. With a paid version, Sales Navigator, you have the email version where you can actually contact them in a professional way, not spammy, yeah. uh, using the email version of the pro version of LinkedIn to actually put some more information if it's needed, for example. I don't know if you have an example to share, Alicia, with us. Well, I, I, I used it two or three times for very mm -hmm. specific uh, people who were looking for translators. Mm -hmm. So I, I I contacted them via the email message and mm -hmm. I it, it wasn't a, a long message anyway, but yeah. at least you can put it more structure. You can mm -hmm. add your signature. It looks more mm -hmm. professional than mm -hmm. just a connect and a connection request. So I prefer to use the email message. And then when they accept the message, they actually accept your connection. So then they are in your network already. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing those tips for your success stories, for being an inspiration to all those people that they are thinking now, I cannot afford the VA. I cannot afford sales navigator. And I can tell you that Alicia was there because we have encountered all those. For me, it's limiting beliefs, but for some people, they're real fact that they cannot afford. But for me, yes. it's also a great success that in six months, because for me, it's a matter also of prioritization of the, the budget that you have, that you actually manage to overcome all those um, uh, blocks that you have had, Alicia, yourself. And you're here to share that to people that they have the same opinion like you. That What would you say to people that you were six months ago? Like you told me, I cannot afford the beer right now. I, I, sales Navigator is very expensive. I remember you, and not only you, many translators, when they yeah. approach me, in my process they have some such thoughts but now you are a real example that you overcame all this now you're in your budget not only you're fully booked okay because you're a very good translator as well but at the same time you're doing collaborations you're hiring a va you're doing constantly okay with a consistency a content marketing you have sales navigator and you use the features that we explained so how people that they have the same we can say limiting beliefs like what would you say yeah. I would tell them that don't try to do everything at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's, that's great, what okay. overwhelms you. And that's mm -hmm. when you start getting those limiting beliefs because you mm -hmm. see so many things that work for so many people that, of course, you want them mm -hmm. to work for you as well. Mm -hmm. I remember in the program when the, 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 the other uh, mentees well, were saying, I sent requests <laughs> and I got a... Uh, 50 people accepted them and, and nobody accepted mine. And then I said, oh my God, what I am doing? I said, okay, I, I'll have to find another way of doing it okay. and and just try to do what what works yeah, for you. Your personality. And, and you, yeah, and, and also uh, on the way you work or the way you 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 work with people or, or the way you approach people and just take what is helpful for you from all those strategies that we have learned and that we continue learning just mm -hmm. pick up what what is good for you but don't try to do everything at the same time because it won't work and and then it it will you will feel very overwhelmed and and it will be very frustrating 
and then of course that's great advice. That's great advice. Uh, see what your budget you mm -hmm. see your budget see what you can do when you can spend the money mm -hmm. how much money you can spend and and that's very personal of course but we are in in the pandemic last year was a pandemic but the year before we didn't have any pandemic and i had exactly the same business on 2019 and on 2020 yeah. so exactly. i thought then I, I thought if i had the same business with and without the pandemic then i can try to do to invest some money because uh, 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 by the end of the year it will be the same so i can afford it Exactly. And you know, this is great advice because I keep telling and people, they might not believe me because I'm on the other side that I'm paying myself a coaching program. That I, I'm paying like 10 times what I, I have in my programs for an annual mastermind group because I've seen whenever I invest in my business, even if it's a, for a VA or for a content marketing assistant or for sales navigator that you mentioned, which is not that big, the investment, but high. I see growth in my business. So if you do it with a specific objective and goal, what you are doing, yeah. there is no point not to see the growth that you are looking for. And of course, be patient and actually consistent with what you're doing and try to find or to choose what all of the strategies that you learn, because I teach a lot, I know. Keep those that they work for you, for your business model, for your personality and for your ideal clients, because not all of my mentees are focusing to the same industry. Yep. So this is great advice to share for those. And um, I don't know if you if you were about to say something else, Alicia. Mm, no. <laughs> I, okay. so I, I, hope they, I hope they find this helpful. For me, it's really inspiring to see you. For me, it's really inspiring because I know the before Alicia and the after Alicia. And <laughs> uh, I, I'm very emotional, to, to be honest. And thank you for being here and so generously sharing your own experience with other people. And if you have more questions for Alicia, comment here below or find Alicia. And uh, or myself, I've been sharing my email and contact us if you have any questions because the ultimate LinkedIn prospecting system will start in July. So for those that they would like to see growth in their business, they think that it's something that they can implement, you can send us an email. And of course, I have a free event running next week about sales, LinkedIn sales masterclass. So definitely find the link, to join us. It's for free, 90 minutes masterclass. And I would love to see you there. So Alicia, thank you for catching up. You stay here with me, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we say bye-bye to all of you. Thank you so much for being here live with us. Bye-bye. Thank you.